Hi, I'm Gil. And I'm Ben. And I'm Tor. And, and we're ready, ready to assemble America. Okay, everybody. Today we're going to do a belly bookcase. This is one of IKEA's most popular items and one of the simplest items. Okay. So let's start with parts identification for everybody. We're going to show you uh, the bookcase has two, two sides, the left side and the right side. We always suggest when you get ready to perform your assembly to put all of your facing edges pointed toward each other. It gives you a point of reference when you go to uh, and put in your, your dowels and your uh, cam, post. cam post. So we're going to show you what the parts are now. Trey, we're going to pull those out. While he's pulling, while Tori's pulling those out, Ben, let's get our first assembly pieces. All right, guys, these are the parts that came with this bookcase. All right. Of course, we all know this is a cam lock. This is a cam post. Right. This wooden dial, shelf pin, and the old-fashioned nail. Okay, what is this? This is a securing bracket for the wall, just an anti-tilt me mechanism. Some will show later. Would that be for maybe if you have a child? Oh, you definitely want to use this if you got a child around. Okay. Definitely. For most of the people that shop IKEA, they offer this handy tool set, and it basically has everything you need to assemble anything IKEA. And in this set, we'll have your typical hammer. You have a screwdriver with interchangeable heads. You can put any bit in there that you need, and it comes with an assortment of bits. Also comes with a pair of pliers and a wrench. Very handy indeed. All right, guys, let's go ahead and proceed with step one in the book. In step one, what you want to do is go ahead and insert the cam post into the holes that's designated. You can always tell the cam post holes, they're a little smaller than the dial holes. So if you can see Ben, he's got the cam, he's tightening it down, Tori's doing the same thing on his end. And as he goes along with the insertion, we're using enough pressure on top to drive that baby home. All right, looking good, guys. Mm -hmm. And in step one, you always want to remember if you can keep your both ends facing each other, it makes it a whole lot easier to find out which hole you're working with. And let's go ahead and put a couple of dials in. These are the wooden dials. As you can see, if you're looking at your instruction book, you see they're going on the outside of your cam post. Need a couple of them, Tori, you good? I need about two more. There you go. Thank you. Very well. Fantastic. You think you guys are pros. <laughs> <laughs> ah. we try All to get. right. We got one more end to do here on the bottom end. We're just going to slide this this way a little bit so people at home can see. Do you have any, any yes. pegs? Now, on this end, it's a little different. We've actually got... We've actually got four dial holes. You're gonna put four in the bottom. These other, the bottom two holes are for your balance. That's the decorative edge that goes across the bottom. Once we're done here, we're ready to prep our shelves. Remember, when you pull out your, your parts, be sure to do a part count. In the front of your book, it tells you exactly how many you should have. All right, everybody, we're going to page two now. And on page two, we begin to do your actual assembly. First thing you want to do is prep all of your fastening shelves. You can tell the fastening shelves because they all come with the little holes on the back. So, Tori, let's go ahead and show them how this happens. On each of your cam locks, there's a little arrow that shows you which way your holes are. So when you make your connection into the cam post, it's true and you don't have to fumble with it. So remember, each cam lock comes with a little arrow that actually points to the way that it should be orientated towards your holes. All right, guys, let's start putting this baby together. All right, everybody, we're ready for steps three and four now. So, Tori, let's go ahead and show the folks how uh, to install this shelf. Remember, you've got a cam post and a cam. These are your cams. These are the points where you want your cam to be inserted. Let's show them, son. Put it in over the cam post. Go ahead and put it in. As you insert it, put down some pressure. You're ready with your screwdriver. Now, you do remember that little arrow? You want to turn that arrow to a 180 degrees. You want to turn it counter of where it is, is now. 
That ensures a tight fastening. All right, Ben, you're we're gonna be doing the same thing. Remember to you keep your facing edges clean. This is your back. Ben's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna turn it 180 degrees to lock it in. Now we're gonna get to something where we see a lot of mistakes being made. This is your bottom shelf, center shelf, and now we're moving to your top shelf. The thing about the top shelf is you don't want these cam locks showing. So we're gonna install this so that they're on the top, top of your, of your shelf and not being seen from the inside of your shelf. Let's show them, Ben. As you can see, this finished edge is on the inside. This is the unfinished edge on the outside. So when you stand it up, you're looking at a clean finish on the inside. He's gonna lock that in. All right, everybody, we're gonna move on to step six, but before we do, we're gonna remember we put in our cam locks. They're already pointed toward the hole with a little arrow. And we're also going to insert our ballast. This is the decorative bottom to your bookcase. It goes right in over those dials, just like that. Now we're ready to put your other top part on. Come on guys, let's do it. You see we're gonna line it up. Dials over the dial holes. Cam posts over the cam locks. All going in nice and pretty. All righty. Give it a slap. Let's tighten it down. There you go. Go ahead and lock it down. Ben's locking his down. Remember, you're turning this 180 80 degrees. And it's all done. All right, everybody. Now we're at step six. Step six is simply identifying a line that's going to give you an idea of where your center shelf is. The reason this is important is because you're going to put a, a row of nails across your backing to help secure it. So you look at the center, use our Sharpie here, draw a line on this side, Sharpie, draw a line on that side, and that completes step six. Step seven is inserting the back. Let's do that, Tor. In your IKEA bookcase at the very bottom, there's this curved edge, and this is part where we're going to guide it right through the slots on the back. It'll come right through like that. Benjamin, grab it there. And it falls all the way to the top. Keep in mind, we're gonna flush it up. Make sure it's clean on the top and the bottom, it is. And we're gonna get a shelf. Some they don't tell you in the book, but we're gonna get a shelf. And we're gonna use the back edge. We're gonna line it up with the two lines we did earlier. And that's gonna give us a clean line to nail on, right across the center of that center shelf. Step eight is nailing it on. Let's get busy, guys. I'll nail along the center here. Ben and Tori are gonna nail along the top and the bottom. Take your time and space your nails evenly. Take your time, ladies and gentlemen, tap it and drive it home. All right, that's the end of step eight. All right, guys, we're moving on to step nine and 10 about to finish it up. Step nine is actually inserting the pegs. We've already done a couple of shelves, but you wanna count up to your fifth hole from the bottom. So that's one up to the fifth hole. And the guys are gonna go ahead and insert those. That's the next shelf. And then there's another shelf level. You can do the same count up from the bottom up to your fifth hole. It'll give you some even spacing. Tenth step is simply inserting your shelves. It's the back edge. Bottom has the cutouts. And your front edge. In the bookcase is very, very simple. <laughs> And our final shelf. Put a tip. Put an anchor. And that's Billy. I want to thank everybody for being with us. Guys, great job.